friends, you must have often seen that, whenever doctors give injections to someone, the doctor, then removes some of the medicine, present in the injection before giving the injection. They do this, to expel the air present in that injection. Because giving an empty injection, or air bubble, injection can increase the risk. Because doing, so can obstruct blood flow. Friends, let us tell you that the air present in the injection is called, air embolism. If a person is administrated, with air embolism injection, he or she may die. Friends we know that, injection is injected intravenously. And blood flows in these veins, to supply oxygen, and other nutrients to whole body. To provide the body cells need, according their metabolism. If air bubble comes or travels in the veins, then they can block the blood circulation. Because, the blood flows in the body by buffer system. It will not flow properly by air bubbles. If we administer injections, to any person, and there are any bubbles in injection, then it will cause big problem in the body. This air bubble will circulate in the brain areas, and will cause a stop in the blood circulation. We all know that, brain is the most important part of the body. If any type of problem occur in the brain, it affects whole body. And it may be possible that blood cannot flow to brain areas, due to air bubbles, and the brain function will stop permanently. We all know, that, blood circulate in the whole body, and if air bubble reaches the heart, it can blast in the heart. And if it does, then anyone can kill by this type of problem. By this reason, doctor, remove some of drug from the injections while giving the injection. If mistakenly small amount of air bubble go into the blood circulation, then they will not cause big problem, this can be handled by the physician. And we always should keep in the mind that, don't give empty injection to any person, because, it can cause death. So, you all had understood, that administering the injection is not an easy job. So friends you all have understood, that, what happens when we administered empty injection to someone? We hope that you liked this video and don't forget to like, and share, this video. And subscribe our YouTube channel for such unique informative videos. If you have a question, then please write in the comment box. Once again and thanks for watching this video. Thank you.